Mr. McCann, by way Lom Lurch and son Mo Cantor here in Belfast here. Um, I'm asking. Uh, I'm here to support the motion 30, and I'm from the West Belfast Coley Cantor, and I'm asking people to support the motion. Um, decades of political conflict here have marked the lives of everyone who live in the island of Ireland, and that legacy um, you can see every day almost in the various experiences endured by victims, families and survivors. And the human cost of the conflict here should always be recognised and never forgotten, and those families in particular of all victims have to be treated with respect and dignity. And if we are to move into a society based on equality and justice, and where human rights are respected, then none of us, none of us should fear the truth. There is no doubt that all participants to this conflict have, the to, have to take responsibility for their actions. However, the violations committed by the British state have been consistently covered up as a matter of policy. And I know some people here today, I see some people in the audience, have lost loved ones through state killings, either directly or indirectly through collusion. So I'm very mindful of that when I'm speaking about this. But I just want to mention one group of relatives in terms of West Belfast. Because <clears throat> I just, just in the days that followed internment, um, uh, not only did an estimated 7,000 people have to flee their homes, but in Ballamurphy area alone of West Belfast, 11 people, including a Catholic priest, and a mother of eight children were murdered by British Army paratroopers. And that same group of paratroopers, as we know, went on to murder 14 innocent civilians in Derry on Bloody Sunday at the Civil Rights March. And those families have been so dignified and respectful in their campaign, but they don't always get that dignity and respect back. And we had the policy of collusion where the British state were responsible for the murder of hundreds of Irish citizens here. And I think over the years that, that while more and more evidence of that collusion came to light, the level of it still hasn't been exposed in the way it should be and needs to be. We had the Corey reports, we had the Byron reports, Stevens 1, 2 and 3, Stalker and a number of other reports and inquiries that found collusion went to the heart of the British establishment. And families who have been directly affected by the policy of collusion are entitled to the truth of why a state agency that is supposed to uphold the law and protect citizens was actually instrumental in their murder. So the campaign to expose the level of collusion must continue and those who were responsible for directing murder and human rights abusers must be held to account for their activities. And can I say that Sinn Féin are the only party that have consistently supported relatives of those killed by the state, whether directly or indirectly. But we need to keep, keep that campaign going because we need to ensure that all those relatives, as I said, are treated with respect and dignity. So I would ask you all to support this motion today to ensure that. And can I just say that those people who have lost their lives through the direct action of the forces of the state or the indirect action of the policy of collusion are entitled, they're entitled to justice and truth. There should be no hierarchy of victims. So please support the motion. Thank you.